As state lawmakers haggle over crime laws and Prop 47 reforms, threats of nuisance letters from cities and police have also become part of the public debate. I was shocked here to hear people now being threatened with being de declared a nuisance. Surprised to hear that anyone would ever attempt to make a nuisance case. In California's battle over retail theft. I think it's just a matter of Target actually taking proactive steps to stop theft. This one-time target for criminals has turned into a retail crime-fighting success story. Mm. Now, an assembly retail theft bill would ban cities from threatening nuisance actions against businesses solely for reporting crimes. That bill is awaiting a vote by the full legislature. Meantime, Councilmember Rick Jennings says he believes what Target has done at this particular store could serve as a model for all retailers across the country. So things have gotten so bad, specifically with Proposition 47, and just the overall impact that's had on, on California in general. I mean, what a terrible, terrible bill. I mean, oh, this is going to work out great, guys. This is going to be the best thing ever. And here you sit. You've literally got legislation being put into place in California that basically says you, you can't make a complaint about an entity reporting crime. In what world does that make any sense whatsoever? Oh, no. You, one, one more complaint and you guys are going to get a fine. You guys are going to get a $1,000 fine because you've called in cr criminal activity way too many times. No, you guys can't do it. I mean, on the ledger here, you, know, you guys have surpassed your quota. No can do. We're going to fine you. Don't call in again. We're going to fine you. That's literally what you've got going on in Sacramento. How absolutely in living in the upside down world is that? That's nuts. It's nuts. And we all know Target. Tar Target is weak at best, right? I mean, boycott Target if you can. The only thing they've got good there is uh, their monster, uh, their monster mix. It's a, like a trail mix and it's in a big jar. It's delicious. It is the best thing ever. Everything else about Target, I could give a who you know what's about just don't care boycott target uh, you know what i mean and that whole bathing suit suit thing last year just horrific oh uh, yeah and i can let kids say uh, yeah either boy or girl who knows what just give them the little pouch wherever it needs to be and it's what we're doing Sac sacramento city attorney's office warned a chain retail store one of the biggest ones that it could face a public nuisance charge due to a large number of phone calls placed to police when thieves repeatedly stole from its land park location. I mean, that, that is just absolutely nutty. A person with knowledge of the warning, but not authorized to speak publicly due to their fear of retaliation. Yeah, that's something Target would do. The guy's talking, the guy's telling the truth. He's going to expose how weak we are. So he told the Sacramento Bee, the one I'm reading from, love the Sacramento Bee. You guys are great. The city officials threatened the target at 2505 Riverside Boulevard. Was it Archie from Riverside? I think so. It's an old comic book if you're not familiar with that. Never mind. It's okay. Riverside Park in the past year with an administrative <laughs> fine. A Sacramento police spokesperson confirmed the location, a site that prompted heavy ire from landmark residents, land park residents due to repeated crimes when asked about the apparent warning. I mean, if you've got literally dozens and dozens and do hundreds of police calls, hundreds of calls to 911, it's like, okay, what are you going to do to help this as well? Because you got to come up with something, right? You got to let us crack down. And it's because Target has such a hands up. Oh, we, we don't want things to look bad. In fact, if you do arrest somebody, could you do it out back? Because, you know, it's not good for the you know, the other con consumers, their shopping experience. So if you do arrest somebody, could you just pretend that it's not an arrest, that you're just going to go have a little talk with them. And then if you must arrest them, that's how weak Target is. Just so bad. The alleged warning issued by Sacramento City, of city officials and similar actions by other cities across the state prompted lawmakers to add an amendment to a retail theft bill that would outlaw such threats made by authorities. Now, you can't do that. That's a no-go. No-go, Sacramento. Tisk tisk. Yeah, you guys need a, you guys need a, whoosh. yeah, figuratively, of course. 
Pursuing legal actions against businesses for reporting crime brought heavy criticism from law enforcement. Really? Hmm. Shocking. Right? And this whole notion. You can't you, you just can't bother us that often. You just just no go. It's it's a no go. Just you no. Know. I was also surprised so surprised that anyone would ever attempt to make a nuisance case out of somebody calling to report a legitimate crime. Yeah, literally, what world are we living in where, oh, yeah, you've had another theft? Mm, let's look at my let's look at my ticker list on you. And um, mm, oh, that's the 14th one this week. Mm, I don't think so. You're, you're, you're facing a fine here, Mr. Mrs. Whomever you are. Now, this isn't good. We can't have this. I mean, just I don't think there is a place for that. <laughs> <laughs> said the president of California Police Chiefs Association. California Police Chief Association, I would agree. There's no place for that anywhere. 